I did a little bit of math uh, ahead of time. Basically, we're going to explore the idea of what it costs to get a quad speed rune. So approximately 75% chance to get one per nine energy, 13 runs per rune, 120 energy per rune, 28.385 crystals per rune. And that works out to, if you're buying 3000 crystals for $100, approximately 95 cents per legend rune. Okay, so the fastest teams in the game are approximately 25 seconds per run. Like they're in, they're in game time is like 15 seconds, but there's approximately eight-ish seconds at the end, even on the fastest load time to account for um, basically like, see this part right here where the animation plus the countdown and then the reload is approximately eight to 10 seconds. So we're gonna use a approximation of about 25 seconds per run. What that ends up working out to, as you can see here, is approximately 330 seconds per rune, five and a half minutes per rune, 10 runes per, or almost 11 runes per hour, which works out to about 262 legend runes per day. Okay, and what that also means, if you do this math, is that it costs you approximately $262 per day to farm at 100% uptime with the fastest farming team in the game. So anyone who spends, and this is gonna sound hilarious, but anyone who spends more than, what is that? $8,000 per month is summoning mystic packs <laughs> or premium packs or, or uh, whatever. How many per year? So if you do that many, so that number times 365, you will see 95,759 Legend runes per year. Yeah, it's very, very many legend runes per year. Okay, so the thing is though, is how, how many quad speeds do you get? So if every rune had speed on it, right? So you have like speed, crit rate, crit damage, attack, okay? You have four possibilities. So that's what we're looking at. So if no matter what kind of rune you get, any arbitrary quad, is a 64% chance, right? So it's you're basically doing a one in four time, you're basically four, so you, you have four rolls of one in four chance each, right? So that works out to a one in 256. This is where people kind of mess up the math sometimes. But the first roll goes into something no matter what. It doesn't matter if it hits here, 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 or here. It can go into any one of these four. That roll's free, it doesn't, because it doesn't matter. To then hit that same one again, it's only three additional rolls. So if it started in speed, it takes three individual one in four chances to hit speed again, right? But if it had started crit rate, same thing. Whenever you're rolling for one specific stat, like say speed, the first roll matters also, which means that you have four individual one in four chances because it has to hit speed the first time. Okay, so basically what it means is any quad of any stat is a one in 64. Speed in particular is a one in 256 chance, assuming it has speed on it. So this is the actual hard part, is that then you have to look up on each slot, what is the chance that it has speed on it? Basically slot five has 10 things on it. Slot three has only seven things on it because it can roll this, or sorry, it has speed, crit rate, crit damage, res ac, HP percent, HP, def percent, but not flat dev, which means it has eight things that can be on it. Okay, so your chances are higher for slot three than it would have been for a slot um, slot eight, <laughs> slot three, eight things on it. And then similarly for slot one, also eight, I believe, because you can have speed, crit rate, crit damage, res, ack. You cannot have attack, but you can have attack percent, and then you can't have def or def percent. So you have HP and HP percent. Okay, so you're at, once again, you're at eight. So you have eight on slot one, slot three, 10 on slot five. You have a 50-50 chance of having speed on a slot one, because there's four. You have a 50-50 chance of having speed on slot three. Also, and technically, I'm not gonna include an eights. I don't think the math messes it up at all, because depending on how you do the ordering, you could technically roll the first four before you apply the innate. So I believe it's still 50-50, even counting the innate. Like it's actually, it's a higher chance to see speed at all, including the innate, but I don't think it's a higher chance or lower chance to have it as a rollable stat. 
Okay, so two 50-50 chances. 50% chance here, 50% chance here. Here, because you have 10, 40% chance. Forty percent chance and forty percent chance. Okay, so you have you have two runes that can roll a 50-50, three runes that can roll a forty. This is also why people, when they say you want to roll speed on a reapp, you should do slot ones and threes because your chance of having speed on it at all is literally twenty five percent higher. So a reapp on a slot one or a three is a twenty five percent higher chance to get you a quad speed than the other two slots. Okay, so now. Let's do a little bit more math, okay? So now we have the 262 legend runes per day. You now have a, so of those, of those runes, you're gonna have 218, 218.63 legends in not slot two per day. But does that mean I will naturally farm more speed runes in slot 1-3 then? Yes, exactly. That's exactly right, Kib Delos. But the thing is, though, is it also means that if, for whatever reason, you have a lack of speed rolls in a 1 or a 3 slot, those are the easiest to make it up. Like, so for instance, that's why on my account it's weird because I have no swift quads in slot 1. So to me, that means that I should roll reaps into slot one swift because I have a much higher chance of finally quadding that slot than anywhere else. So I actually have way more slot like quads in slot like four, five, six than I do in slot one. Yeah, exactly. So so like if you're if you have a weak speed slot in one or three, that's the best place to roll reaps for speed specifically. So you have 218.63 legends in not slot two per day. Because again, we're we're not counting slot two quads, like they're nice, but that, that's not what you need to care about. Assuming these are equally distributed, and I believe they are, so 43 points blah 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 per slot, so it's basically that divided by two, you get 21.86 three slot ones with speed. Runes with, runes with speed. So that many slot ones, that many slot threes. And then uh, 43.726 divided by, or sorry, times 0.4. So you get 17.49 in these other slots. So rollable speed runes per day, 96.197, or 1972. Total speed runes per day. So if we go back up to the fact that if it has speed and these all have speed, this number, this divided by 256 is how many runes you get per day. And if you divide the, if you divide 256 divided by 96.1972, so you get a, so basically you should get a quad if you're farming this fast every 2.66 days per quad speed rune on all but slot two or 0 0.3757 quads per day. Okay, that's that's what we come out to, is that on, on average, you get days per quad is 2.66. Now, if we wanna do something funny, you get 95,000 legend runes per year, right? So how many how many quads per year? Without reaps, you should get 137.156 quads per year. If you farm at this rate, Okay, let's let's math this out so we can turn it into real numbers real quick. So you get this many quads per day at two hundred and forty-eight dollars per day, and that's about as fast as you can farm. It's two hundred forty-eight dollars a day at at full price. At full price. So the cost of a quad speed is six hundred and sixty point six six dollars. That's a lot of sixes. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, so the thing is, is the cost per quad doesn't really change unless you're more efficient. So the more free to play you are, the more free energy you use, which makes this cost go way down, right? Because like even like the, the daily packs like have way cheaper crystals. If you're if you're farming off of, um, uh, you know, like event energy, you know, you're getting like 200 energy 
you're getting like 200 energy per event per day kind of thing. Like, so, and also like anytime you get, um, basically a hundred energy is, is worth around a dollar. Actually, in terms of this farming speed, anytime you get a hundred energy, it's actually worth about 80 cents. All right. Well, anyway, that's uh, we solved it. We solved it guys. We figured out how much it costs. $660 per quad. The 20 to 30 speed rolls. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's a it's a normal distribution centered around 25. Okay, so the way the quads work, right, is you have these four rolls, four to six, four to six, four to six, four to six, four to six. So if we just want to figure out the 30 chance, you actually have to hit a one-third chance five times in a row. So, so your chance of getting a 30 speed is a 0.4% chance. 0.41% chance, technically. It, any quad speed, you only have, you have less than a 1% chance of hitting a 30. So if you take that chance times the number of quads per year, technically farming at this speed, you should get half of one per year. So you get, you have a, you have a 56% chance to get a 30 speed per year for nine or 95 dollars, <laughs> dollars. So it's 161, $161,000. Yeah, so it's, it's approximately $160,000 per quad, per, or sorry, not per quad, per, per 30 speed, around 800K. For 30 speed swift. Anyway, um, thanks again, everybody. Really appreciate it.